politically charged house of horrors. Where are we? Well, we're at the freakiest creep show in town, and we've got that story coming up. And getting closer now, just in time for Halloween, a new show to really spook you out. It's called Creep Show at the Freak Show, and it's going on right now on Coney Island. And our Tony Seneca live tonight to take us inside. Tony, you got a wild thing going on there tonight, real freaky stuff. <laughs> totally freaky. Well, everyone knows about the Coney Island Freak Show, yeah. but this year they're putting on a creep show that is truly a political house of horrors. Good evening. My name is Abraham Lincoln, and I'm your first presidential robot tonight. All of the Coney Island presidential robots are cheap bootleg knockoffs of Disney animatronics. If you like carny horror, you've come to the right place. This totally weird tour takes you through six secret chambers, usually off limits to the freak show. And now we know why. But this freaky fake wax museum doesn't just represent our founding fathers. The kings are dead. Long live the president. You'll also find a senator and a first lady. This is rated R for graphic violence. Ugh. Sure, Obama and McCain were present, but you never know who you're going to run into at this show. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I am not a crook. <laughs> and at this politically charged show, even Coney Island kids can cast their vote. Fun, creepy, and cool. All right, Dick, now you've been running the freak show for 30 years. What was the inspiration behind the creep show? We want to be a little bit offensive. We want to be a little bit patriotic. But best of all, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or a Democrat. It's an opportunity to get really creeped out. Totally creepy, guys. And this creep show is going on every single night through, you guessed it, Halloween. Tony Senegal, Fox 5 News. Nice job, guys.